I usually call that an A-list method. So there are always industry leaders in any kind of field and there are B connections. So these B connections are super connectors. Those are the people who can put us on the stage in front of 10,000 people, metaphorically speaking. We need to connect with people intentionally. Welcome to the High Voltage Business Builders Podcast, a show where we interview high voltage entrepreneurs growing and scaling through e-commerce, real estate, and other Wealth Without Wall Street ventures, showing you the path to making your first or next million. Hey folks, welcome back to the High Voltage Business Builders Podcast. I'm your host, Neil Twa, and we are gonna talk today about LinkedIn. If you have ever considered it as a marketing strategy, a development for leads, a informative and consultative approach, if you've considered it for business and newsletters, if you thought about it in terms of your e-commerce products, if you just haven't really considered LinkedIn as a way, as a traffic, as a means, as a social media network, then today the uh, opportunity is going to learn here with Catherine a little bit more about how to take advantage of that channel. Catherine, thanks for joining me today. I'm kind of excited to talk about this myself because I'm interested to know even what you've got in your brain. I'm going to see if I can pick it today. Thank you for joining the call. Thank you so much for having me. It's truly my pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, where are you joining us from to get kicked off here today? Where I'm in you? Europe. I'm in Europe, in Serbia now. So it's, I'm looking at my watch, but it's not like 6 p.m. here. So yeah. <laughs> Into the evening. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Only 1030 where we are, but hey, that's the beauty of technology, right? Yes. We can get yes. connected from all over the world. But so tell me quickly, how did you uh, discover LinkedIn and what has it done for you? Well, actually I was in a conference in Madrid. It was a digital enterprise show where I, on the marketing stage, heard a lot about LinkedIn. And before that, I thought it's just a CV. You know, you upload your data and then recruiters find you and that's all. But actually, it's not like that. I managed to triple my business twice during COVID thanks to LinkedIn. And the truth to be told, Microsoft bought it in 2017 and they invested a lot to transform that passive uh, network that LinkedIn was into something which I call now one of the greatest search engines for business in the world. And if we just imagine that there are 80 million companies on LinkedIn, 800 million, I'm sorry, companies on LinkedIn, and unlimited resources that we can get connected to decision makers, we really can see that the potential is unlimited. Yeah, okay. So that's fascinating because there's kind of a social media network for every type of business or person from the Snapchatters to the LinkedIn to Facebook and others. So give us a bit of a profile. You mentioned businesses, but if I'm developing a company or I'm developing a brand, give us mm -hmm. a couple of insights as to how that works maybe differently. And you call it the search engine because mm -hmm. a lot of people think of it more social and kind of explain that and unpack that a little bit more, more for me, would you? Yeah, well, it is a, s a social media on one side, but the power through power of LinkedIn is actually search engine behind. And when I say search engine, I mean they have a potential and they have so much information about all of us, which are only business focused, that we can use search with filters and find anyone in this world to get connected with them. This is absolutely impossible on any other social media because on LinkedIn, we can say, okay, I want to connect with business coaching from New York. And you will get a list of every single person who mentioned even business coaching there. So there is an SEO potential because if we use keywords, they will find us too. And on Instagram, we need to know the handle on Twitter also. So it's kind of difficult. They don't have so, so powerful, I say, the algorithm behind the scenes. I also was with LinkedIn editorial team from UK and USA behind the scenes for six weeks. And they showed us the enormous potential of just setting the profile right. Because if we check only the headline of the profile, these are all the most important keywords. And there is a, a little formula like, who am I? What I'm specializing for and for whom? Because every single word in this is a keyword. So I say I'm a business coach, uh, specialize in helping coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs, small business owners. So practically every single time someone search for someone like that will find me. Also, there is an option to activate the creator mode, which gives us more visibility and gives us five hashtags we can choose from that will be added to our headline. These five hashtags are profile hashtags. But the truth is that in every single post, if we use hashtags intentionally, Three hashtags will be included in LinkedIn URL, 
Now, this is the most powerful thing, because if we use a personal brand hashtag or a brand, as you mentioned, and it's included in URL, which is public, every time someone engage with our post, it's going to ping Google. And this is how I build my online presence on Google to 25 to 50 million search results. Wow. So Just LinkedIn amazing. posts organically created, I'm, I'm assuming you're organically creating these posts with yeah. a proper title, hashtag, and very, very smart search terms within your yeah. post are being indexed onto Google as individual you know, pages by LinkedIn's search authority. If I'm going to say this the wrong way, forgive me. Mm -hmm. And so you're getting both LinkedIn traffic and Google traffic kind of together in a combined yes. strategy. Yes, yes. And so when my, when my visibility starts growing on Google, I actually requested a knowledge panel from Google and they verified me as a public person. And so my visibility at one moment was higher than Jennifer Aniston's head. And I, we were joking that I'm not Brad Pitt's ex-wife, but yeah, we had the same visibility. Oh, that's it was, awesome. <laughs> it was funny because yeah. it's not expected, but right. these things work together. How cool is that? So there's a search index that you were tracking. Is that what I heard you say? Yes. Every single time I've posted something, I use my personal brand hashtag. I created it like hashtag Catherine Biroy. And every time someone engaged with the post because it's now Catherine Biroy, it's now in the URL twice because of my name and the hashtag that will and it did be in Google. And here we are now. <laughs> okay. So this is good. This is good. I hope you guys are picking up on those nuggets. So if you're a brand owner, let's say there's all these use cases, I can imagine, right? If you're an e-commerce brand owner listening to this and you want to gain some traffic from people who may be targeted audiences, affinity audiences, business people for products, or just people in general for products, what's it just a simple way somebody could start taking advantage of this platform in your mind to kind of give, get some component of what you just suggested? What would they be doing daily, weekly, monthly? Well, uh, first of all, we need to set up the profile correctly. And I just shared a little bit. The second important part of the profile is that our about section is not about us. It's about people we serve or who we are selling that. So our target audience, customer segments, however we want to call that. So very intentionally, we need to use the space in the about section so that search engine picks up that and we are actually found through the search engine. The second thing is that we need to create content. I do that daily, usually, but it doesn't have to be every single day. The beauty of the content on LinkedIn is that it gives you visibility 24 hours and it gives you 100% visibility, free visibility on the profile. So practically, if I have 30,000 connection and I just leave a meaningful comment on your post, there is a 30,000 chances that someone is going to see that. And that is how Facebook used to work in back in 2012. So LinkedIn is still working this way. And what they showed us behind the scenes is that actually any kind of valuable content, which will bring some kind of value to the audience that we are actually serving, will get the best visibility because the algorithm doesn't like promotional stuff. They don't like funny videos, uh, cats and dogs and all of these things, which are very popular on Reels. They want true value. So if we focus on the true value or what we can deliver to our clients or our customers, this is going to be yes for the algorithm and algorithm will give us more visibility. Third thing is that metaphorically speaking, who are the most important connection between us and the industry leaders mm -hmm. or editors mm -hmm. in important magazines on whoever we are targeting, never mind. So whatever we have to offer, no matter if it is service or a product, even it doesn't matter which kind of product, it's important with who we are connected and who is going to see that. Because if we just accept, and I was doing this at the beginning and it didn't show uh, good results. If you just accept uh, requests you're gathering, it doesn't mean that is your target audience and you're losing space. So LinkedIn is actually valuing more connections which are professionally better ranked and that we can check with social selling index. The social selling index is the fourth element and one of the most important things. We can check if we go to linkedin.com slash sales slash SSI, how we rank in the industry we are in. And our job is to actually increase that social selling index. And 48%, there is more chance for someone who is in top 10% that will sell 
on LinkedIn than other other uh, people who are there. Daily activities are actually creating content, posting valuable content, and engaging with people who are engaging with us. Also, engaging with content from the industry leaders because they have huge audiences. And if we can give a meaningful comment, which will be noticed from other people, those people will probably come to us. That is something that's usually happening. And a long-term strategy is actually networking with who we are connecting and why we are connecting to them. So maybe I don't want to be connected or I can't be connected with an industry leader like, I don't know, Gary Vee one-on-one, right? But for sure, I can get connected with a, a, a journalist or an editor from any kind of business magazine like Forbes who wrote an article about Gary Vee. And this is where I actually need to be. This is in a short-term strategy. Plus, I would like to add a very important thing, and that's newsletter, which you mentioned at the beginning. Okay. Because when we build our network and publish the first article in the newsletter, people are going to subscribe. And in my case, I have had 5.5 thousand people subscribe on my newsletter in just that first day. And on the other side, I have... 6K people on my uh, newsletter list in in an email behind the scenes, which I was building years and years prior to that. If we know how to use all of these little nuggets of the LinkedIn carefully and build sustainable expert profile, it's going to work very well for everyone. Excellent. Yeah, I just, I mean, I took your advice and just for a couple posts that I put in the newsletter. I've got 553 people on the newsletter now, Mm -hmm. which is just a few posts. So I'm going to be more intentional about moving a a newsletter I already publish out into the world in my blog Mm -hmm. and just replicate that into LinkedIn over there with the same hashtags and keywords and stuff because I got a lot of content that's moving. I'm sure there are a few people on here that are doing similar types of exercises that are simply just not taking advantage of the effort they're already putting out into other social media channels and just getting it modified into LinkedIn. And you laid out a very concise five-point strategy just now, which was really cool. Thank you for doing that, Catherine, because I can see the value of somebody who's paying attention. Now, who, who do you find that you serve the best for what you do? I serve the best coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs, and small business owners who would like to grow their businesses online because I was programmer for 15 years and I was a web developer, but for a large international financial systems, I really understand these algorithms behind the scenes. It's pretty simple for me to get how things are working behind the scenes. And that's like something which is different when they work with me than with other business coaches, because I'm not focused only on the business strategy, but how we can use technology to leverage that and build systems so that our business can actually work and we don't have to work all the time, every single day. I love working with service-based businesses, any kind of service-based business, which is positioned online. It also can be any kind of product-based business, which is looking for a way to grow online. Excellent. Okay. So for those of you who are paying attention to that and listening here, this might be a connection you want to get into. If you're trying a LinkedIn strategy or have even considered it, or maybe you've just kind of half-assed it like I have a little bit and maybe want to get more (laughs) in the details, there's some definite insights coming from you, Catherine, on this. Where did you, you said 15 years as a programmer. So do you move, do you have automations? Are you using AI now? Do you have teams of people that are involved in helping you with your strategies? I have a system behind which we built a few years ago. And I'm smiling now because we're finally launching a new system very soon because I am building like an ad tech company for education for business growth. And yeah, 15 years of writing a code every single day made me understand how much is important that we have a system behind which can work for us. And the beautiful thing is that technology these days is so advanced. When I was uh, writing a code, we needed to write every single line. And now there are so many tools which we can use. We don't even need to know how to write code. But it's yeah. very important that we know how this system needs to be connected. And AI yeah. is something which is definitely helping big time. I was researching it from January this year. Actually, I'm hired in a few weeks, that last few weeks, to train the artificial intelligence behind the scenes. And seeing all of that, how it works behind the scenes, it's really enormously powerful. I only hope that it will be used for a good purposes. 
because surely there is a high risk and I think that has to be regulated a little bit. But just for example, when I am doing a live event, like a workshop online, I needed two and a half months for the whole strategy to be set up and the system to work with eight weeks of promotion. With AI, I prepared everything and I did it on my own to see improvements with mm. it in a two and a half weeks. So two wow. and a half months to two and a half weeks, plus we had 30% more content with more channels. And obviously it's an enormous time saver, but it's also, it requires much smaller investment to get us where we want to be. Yeah. So I think there is yeah. a huge potential because now when you see the system, just a simple funneling system with all the automatization which can be done and the AI which can help enormously in, in the front-end creation of content or back-end creation of email sequences, I think if it's set correctly, even solopreneurs have a huge chance to make to make very successful businesses online. That is fantastic. Excellent. Well, it was very good insights uh, to share. Is there a question I didn't ask you that you wanted to, to share something? I didn't just, I didn't get to it yet. You're just itching to share. I have a, like told in my mind that I'm talking too much. You're not even asking me. No, no, I'm, just... I'm just listening. I'm taking it all in. No, go right ahead. This is good. <laughs> so no, I don't have it. No, this is good. Where are you going next? What's on your agenda? We're headed to, towards the end of 20, you know, 2023. What is your big, hairy, audacious goal for yourself, for your clients, for other people in the coming year? Well, as I mentioned, we are launching LGM Academia. That's a completely new platform and a system where for now my programs will be available, but I intend to include other experts because I work with people from 30 countries who are usually on the high position places and then switched to building their own businesses and who are true experts. So I would like to help much more people through the platform because I, I can't be involved in everything. And now when I saw the ending of the quality analysis phase of the whole platform, it's like my baby was bo is born again and that makes me very happy. So yeah, from working so much one-on-one -on -one and group coaching and all of this, we managed to create something which will be much more affordable to, to more people and where I don't have to be involved so much and I can spend more time with my son. So yeah, Love that's a plan. Excellent. Family. Did, did you have a case study or something you could share with me real quick? Someone who's used this, either a brand owner or business owner who's worked with you and what happened to them, like where they go and what was the output? Well, one of my greatest uh, case studies is definitely Barbara Vercruz. She is a quality manager in BMW in Bruxelles, in Belgium, and she's working with me for the last few years. And not only on LinkedIn, she had a higher reach on LinkedIn than I did. She had more than a million people actually engaging with her on LinkedIn. She managed to triple her business several times. And tonight we are having live. She's publishing a book. It's in pre-sale. It's not even published. It's going to be tomorrow. And she is already number two on Amazon using these wow. strategies. So we didn't even publish the book yet. It's going to be wow. published tomorrow, 15th of November. Yeah, when I see someone like that who works with me shining so brightly and she got so many opportunities with United Nations, with Microsoft Leadership Enabling Community. She has opened doors in Forbes. She became a president of a female entrepreneurship something in Bruxelles. I, do, I can't even remember all of these things, and she's just one of the examples. But one of my favorites, because these Amazon things have happened like two, two hours ago. That is very cool. Thank you for sharing that with her. That is exciting. Anybody who might have a book coming to market? This guy might want to talk to you <laughs> about how to grow that audience and maybe see something like that happen. I appreciate you so much for coming on and sharing. Guys, if you're not taking advantage of the LinkedIn strategies and you didn't pick up on anything today that you can use, you are obviously paying attention. So go back, listen to this, like, share, comment, ask questions, give us some love, help us beat big tech, put it on LinkedIn. We're going to do that and make sure that you guys take advantage of a channel that uh, maybe is a little underutilized for your business or your brand. Thanks again for coming on, Catherine, and sharing with me. It's my pleasure. Thank you for reminding me. this. If you're serious about building an e-commerce business starting on Amazon FBA, what if myself and my team worked with you one-on-one -on -one to execute the steps outlined in the podcast while helping you discover what the heck to sell, how to make sure it's profitable, and how to successfully launch a brand? Plus, 
how to do it under a consulting plus performance-driven model where I put a $10,000 skin in the game guarantee for those that show up and are serious about building a real business done with us. If yes, text keyword profit to plus one four one seven four one three four two zero nine. That's one four one seven four one three four two zero nine. And I will personally respond with a few simple questions. If you're not in the US or Canada, please visit voltagedm.com. That's voltagedm.com. Click get started and book a no pressure discovery call with me or a member of my team to learn more about the business builders one on one coaching and mentoring for CEOs, entrepreneurs, and those looking to build an empire or retire using the power of e-commerce. Once again, thank you for listening and be sure to tune in next week for a brand new episode of the High Voltage Business Builders Podcast.